What's up, Kaijudo Duel Masters? This is Carl Reddish, aka Thunder Sultan. Coming at you Saturday, June 8th, 2013. Tech profile, Jacob Sconci out of Austin, Texas, Pats Games. Uh, here's his uh, blue, I mean, water darkness. What do you call this? <laughs> um, Spell jacket jacker. <laughs> uh, lots of mana and discard. That's that's what it says. Most of these cards either go to mana or rape their hand. Uh, Grudge Weaver? Uh, Grudge Weaver is insane. You simply just beat aggro most of the time you play a turn two. Um, you you beat me in Swiss with Gigastan, pretty 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 potent. All right, hold on. Be but before we get on the Gigastan, uh, another reason Grudge Weaver is in the deck is it works really well with Ripper Reaper. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Gigastan just for the discard. Yeah, I mean if you've played through the beginning of the game up till now, a Gigastan you just in control you break a shield, they get a card in their hand, and then you swing Gigastan, they lose the card and break a shield. So you're only giving them one card for two shields. And it fuels the the spell dragon, which we'll get to. Feels, um, the whole deck feels itself. Fume, self-explanatory. Rasulka, self-explanatory. This guy. This guy's really cool. Okay. Uh, Value-wise, you think he's good? I think he is probably one of Blue's best blockers. Okay. Uh, Does the card draw? It draws a card, it blocks, and it costs less than four or less, so it's totally reanimatable. Okay. With, like, Draco Thane. Which Draco Thane and Return from the Beyond, like... Ripper Reaper. Uh, so Ripper Reaper. You get a lot of you get a lot of two for ones because of Grudge Weaver. Mm -hmm. uh, you also need to be able to kill Keeper, the new Keeper, and this kills the new Keeper. Ah, because they get to okay. Yeah. Uh, water spout. Water spout just combos. If I no other word than combos, it's never sitting on the board. It just bounces itself until they are. Combos really well with Spelljacker. Yes. My favorite card ever. Um, you were playing this against me, uh, game one, and making me shatter my own shatter. Um, stuff like that. Uh, unbelievably great card. It just, it's just insane. Just insane. The fact that the spells stay in the graveyard and you can just reuse it over and over. And if you have 16 mana, you can go Water Spout, Spell Jacker. And 16 you, mana you say that, spells. but... When it, you, when you play a green player, you can take the reap and so Yeah, I reap and okay. So for example, round two, uh, my opponent played a turn three reap and so after sprouting reap and so. Uh, the game went on a little later. I played spelljack reap and so. That got me up to enough mana to play water spout gargoyle, bounce spelljack, and water spout, mm. and then just continue to do that until I got the cards I needed. Mm -hmm. And then once I got the cards I needed, I started playing all of his other spells. Draco Thane, I see, can be bonkers because of your just this four just, or less just four or less targets. That. You got three, six, nine, twelve. 15 targets, I get it. Um, Scourge? You need, like, okay, so I don't play Shatter. Okay. So you need to get, like, dragons and uh, control. You need to get their hand gone completely sometimes. And then sometimes you just want to win. So you're just like, okay, you can't target block. Let's try and win in one turn. Uh, Dark turn. So, so so really Spectacle well. is your early discard. Spectacle, I know a lot of people are hesitant to play it because now you have Mesmerize and Fumes and stuff. But the best thing I can explain ever is going, let them play every time so they don't draw for their turn. Turn two Spectre Call, turn three Mesmerize, turn four Fumes, they lose the game. Okay. The like mini that? Trial and Error, the generous Trove. Tenuous Trove. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're like, we are on the re reanimation spell plan. Like, yeah. if I could find a better way to dump cards in my graveyard, I would. But this is a Shield Blast, draw C card. It's another Logo Scan, but in my deck, just better. Okay. Uh, logo Scan, self-explanatory. Mesmerize, self-explanatory. Uh, Bone Blades, everybody knows. Yeah. Dark. You were doing some silly stuff with this. All day uh, long. Oh, man. You do this into this to draw a card. This into this to bounce their stuff. This into this to discard. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. Just insane. And then, um, how good was Grip of Despair? Grip of Despair is simply amazing. I am sad that on camera it didn't work as well as I needed it to. Yeah. But it still did something in that hard matchup. But, like, there are so many instances. Okay, in Dragons, for example, the green, or the yellow fire bird. I don't know the name of it. Lux. Lux. Uh, this gets around Lux. If they have no cards in their hand, you bounce the dragon, they discard it. Like they can't Lux to save it. Okay. So, so many instances it does good. Um, it's a good mana fixer, too, turn one. Also a good mana fixer. Uh, tear pits. How good was Suffocate today? Suffocate was tier one. Um, it kills all the obvious dorks, like anything that would be a problem that's normal. But the real catch about it, the reason it's tier one, is I can kill dragons with Draco Thane. I can, I can, when they swing, I can suffocate and then Draco Thane it down. That's that makes perfect amazing. sense. Makes perfect sense. Oh, uh, and against Dark Saber Bolt, getting their 4,000s down to 2,000s with suffocate is really important too. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, worst matchup. 
Uh, worst matchup is was was on camera. <laughs> no, actually, I feel like red can be a better matchup. I would need to fine tune the deck down, maybe the forty eight cards. To oh, how many is this again? I'm sorry. Uh, it's fifty two cards. Fifty two. There was a recent KMC that played uh, Keeper Control at 53. I figured I could jack it up high enough, too, since it worked once. Because I'm throwing like myself in yeah. all day long. So. Yeah. Uh, but uh, red is actually pretty beatable if you fine-tune it. You know, you have to hit shield triggers, of course, if you play against red. You want to hit shield triggers. Um, the hardest matchup is actually the Dark Saber Bolt. Because their creatures are just bigger, stronger, faster, and then they have removal. So it's just, yeah. it's hard. Uh, changes you would make? Changes I would make. Um, you need to put, you need to put Squeaky in there. Scared Orville, Bloom Hollow. You really need to put it in there, because you need another blocker. Like, I wouldn't know where to put it. Maybe the Death Smokes aren't as necessary as I once thought they were. And so, like, you need to have another blocker. You just battle aggro. Uh, there's the possibility you could splash the yellow. Like, recharge Keeper of uh, Dawn. Right? Is that the right one? Keeper of Dawn? Keeper of Dawn, get back a card from your graveyard. Keeper of Dawn. Spell, yeah. yeah. Keeper of Dawn and recharge would probably fit this deck really well. Uh, okay. But that's about all the changes I do. I loved it. It played so beautifully today. Like, it was awesome. Yeah, you tilted me with it pretty pretty hard. It's just so beautiful. You kept me from, from playing spells or discarding spells early because you would abuse them by turn eight. If I had to explain why this deck was fun, was round four. I beat my opponent because all I did was make him discard and sacrifice or destroy all of his creatures until he drew out his deck. Because I played 52 cards, he played 44. Game two, because he was so worried about that happening again, he put uh, Cobalts and Andromedas into his mana. So put I, him beat, on I beat him to death with Vegas Dance. You kind of did that to me too. Yeah. Not going to lie. It's really good against me. Not going to lie. So, uh, well, guys, I hope you like this. Um, leave comments below, you know, what you would add, subtract, stuff like that. Jacob, sorry you couldn't make it into uh, top four. It happens, man. But uh, you get them next time, and we'll see you in Tyler, right, brother? See you guys in Tyler. All right, man. Peach. The team.